I send this video, I'll show you how to fix the 40 hardware corrupted page error, which looks like this. So first step is would be um, to update your drivers and your Windows version. So to check if you have the latest Windows version, go to settings, settings. Then you go here and click on update and security, and then check for updates. And we'll now check for updates. And if you have any, it'll tell you and update them. This may require a restart of your computer. Some do, some don't. Yeah, while it's doing that, we can I'll show you how to update um, drivers, computer drivers. So once Chrome is loaded, um, look up your computer model. So mine's an Asus Transformer book TP three hundred LA, and then add drivers behind it, and press enter, and then click on your manufacturer's website. And I just have to select my CPU model, my Windows version, and then here I have all the drivers and I can just press download here for all of them. If you have a Dell computer, just look up your computer model, for example, Dell Latitude E7450 drivers. And you can press here to detect drivers automatically or find it myself where you can download all the drivers individually. If you have a Lenovo, just your computer model like Yoga Free or whatever your comp Lenovo computer model is, drivers behind it, click on Lenovo's website. Always make sure it's a manufacturer's website, not some fake website. But once it's loaded, you can click on drivers and software, and then you can download all software by, uh, all the drivers by clicking here. <coughs> That's it for drivers. If you want to uninstall the drivers and reinstall them, you can click on right click on start menu, click on device manager, select the driver you want to uninstall. For example, this one, and then press uninstall. And then, when you reboot your computer, Windows will replace the driver with the default driver for that. And you can then update it again and see if that fixes it. The next thing that could cause this error, like the 40 hardware corrupted page error, is 40 RAM. So, try swapping RAM if you, the RAM sticks out if you can or get someone to test the RAM for you um, and you should, or if you're checking your hardware you, could, you should also check your motherboard and hard drive as they could also cause such errors um, sometimes the BIOS is also a problem so update it to the newest version or down, downgrade it if you're on the newest version already and only do this if all the other steps didn't work and the last step, step that I would do would be um, resetting Windows and yeah, that's basically all you can do, otherwise I don't know what to do either. So I hope this was useful and that you enjoyed watching and please check out my other videos.